All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and salutations to your brothers to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity, and may blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And in, in this quick lesson, I want to go over, you know, laws that had got you, got you dealt with harshly in the ancient world, okay? <clears throat> So I want to go over a few scriptures, um, you know, just touching on a few scriptures of, you know, of how the different laws, you know, different offenses that got you dealt with very harshly in the ancient world. All right. Um, and uh, with that being said, you know, the laws touching his commandments, you know, were for our correction. Right. Were for our reproof, as I'm going to go on to read, you know. Also, you know. Uh, was the instructions and guides for us, you know, our wisdom, you know, as the scripture goes on to say, okay, and us leaving off, you know, from the ways of Yah Yahweh, which he have given unto us, right, us, meaning the children of Israel, right, the Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and also, you know, <clears throat> the rest of you that's scattered through the four corners of the earth who see language back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, we were given these law, statutes, and commandments, you know, uh, that were beneficial unto us to to uh, to be to know the Lord's ways, you know, how to, you know, know the difference between what is holy and profane holy and um profane and what is clean and unclean. Okay, righteousness and wickedness, so to speak, right? You know, and we were given these these things, you know, which this was the wisdom in the sight of the nations, you know, but, you know, w without these instructions, without these guidelines, you know, um, as you can see today that, you know, as the earth is in, you know, complete uh, desolation, right, and, and complete darkness, because what's not being pushed forth? What is not being executed? What is not being exalted? The ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh the law, statutes, and commandments. And in the kingdom of heaven, these will be executed. Okay? These will be executed. These will be put in place. You know? And right now, we are, uh, you know, pushing it forth, you know? We're pushing forth the law. You know, we're letting it be known that, you know, the reason why the earth is in its condition that it's in is because, you know, the wicked that's, that's ruling... Okay, he he lives lawlessly. You know, he he lives as a beast, and he has he li he lives with no you know standard, no morals, no values, and he doesn't live and abide by the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. <clears throat> okay, and uh, and everything can be changed, right? With just you know, uh, uh, the laws and statutes and commandments being put in place, right? So I want to get this. I want to start with a. Uh, 2 Timothy 3, verse 14, it says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in the Mashiach, Yavashai. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So, as I said before, starting off the lesson, these, these laws, such as commandments, right, were put in place for, you know, our instruction and in righteousness. OK, these are the key factors of knowing how to govern the earth, govern the people, you know, and er everything within that. All right. Govern yourselves, how to deal you know, righteously amongst, you know, uh, your people, you know, how to deal uh, righteously, period. You know, how to make, you know, righteous decisions, okay? And, and decisions that, you know, uh, uh, that are, you know, uh, but not only beneficial to, to you, but beneficial to your nation, beneficial to the world, right? You know, and with these laws being put in place where I'm going to go over a few, and I'm just going to deal with just a few ones that really got you dealt harshly. This is, these were uh, uh, ways, laws were put in place, and these were ways for to put evil you know, uh, from amongst you, okay? You know, and this is how you get everything set in order, you know, by the standard and by the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start, um, matter of fact, right, so let's start it, um, let's get the first one. 
okay? So this is the book of Deuteronomy 25. Verse 11, right? Check this out. Now let's start at verse 10. It says, no, we'll start at 11. It says, when men strive together one with another and a wife of of the one draw up near for to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smite of him and put it forth her hand and take of him by the secrets, right? Meaning by his balls, right? His kahunas. Then thou shalt cut off her hand. Thine eye shall not pity her. You see that? So when if a woman is getting in the affair of two other men striving together, you know, fighting, right? And, and she was to, you know, grab the other man's, you know, uh, genitals, right? You know, her punishment was to get her hand chopped off. You see, it says that I should not pity her. You see, for that's for her uh, junk getting in, you know, men's business, you know. <clears throat> and, that, and that's just one, you know. Um, Deuteronomy 21, right? And this is how you put evil away from you. Uh, Israel, evil away from your nation, you know, when we're dealing with the nation of Israel. Deuteronomy 21, verse 18, it says, If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastised him, will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out into the elders of the city and into the gate of this place. And they shall say to the elders of the city, This is our son, this is our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of the city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shall thou put evil away from among you and all Israel shall hear and fear. So this child in particular was made, made a public example that the rest of the children uh, could see that, you know, if I be like, you know, this young man right here. This is going to be the punishment, okay? You know, because he don't want to do anything. He wants to be a, a glutton and a drunk. He wants to be lazy, right? He wants to be rebellious and wants to do what he wants to do and not, you know, listen you know, to, to as the parents would say, he, he don't want to listen to we, what we got to say. Well, you know what? How to, how to solve that problem was to make him a public example, you see? And when everyone would see this, you know, his judgment, they would look up, look on that and say, you know what? I, I ain't going to be like that, you know? So these are why these different things uh, are being done. This is why, you know, things are actually put into place. Even what you see now in different areas over there in the Middle East, you know, when someone is, you know, a homosexual or, you know, someone's daughter is being a whore, you know, they're made public examples, you know? So uh, people can know and that they may fear that they if they continue in this, you know, these different lewd acts, Okay, that is not to be done. That you know, there's a judgment for it. Okay, there's a judgment for it. Now, in America, Babylon the Great, you know, they don't, you know, they don't advise you or they don't, um, they don't push forth that, uh, you know, that chastisement against your children. Matter of fact, if you do chastise your children, you know, and you, and, uh, to a to a uh, particular uh, degree, right? Right. In, in, in a way, as, as they don't see fit, which is almost any type of way, you know, they'll take your children from you. They'll lock you up because ultimately they want, you know, these children to run around and, and, and live in a lawless state of mind. OK. And, and and, you know, do what they feel. But it shouldn't be like that, because as a parent, you are the guy you are the, the uh, that ch you are that child's. Uh, um. You're that child's uh, guidance. Okay? So, yeah, that's to happen to the rebellious son. Let's get a... Uh, if a priest's daughter was a whore. All right, so Leviticus 21. Verse 9, it says... And the daughter of any priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore... She profaneth her father. She shall be burnt with fire. You see that? So, <laughs> you know, that was let it be known. And a, a, a priest, right, they, they was held very high because, you know, they're the ones that bring, uh, brought forth the law, you know, for our nation. Okay? And to us from the most high, you know. So, 
you know, they're, them being in a, in a very high position, you know, with his household. So if his daughter was to, to commit this lewd act of, of playing a harlot, being a whore, she was to be what? She was to be burnt with fire. You see? Let's go to um, Deuteronomy 24. And this is just a few that I want to just bring out real quick. Deuteronomy 4, 24, verse 7, it says, If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel and make merchandise of him or sell of him, then that thief shall die and thou shall be put and thou shall put evil away from among you. You see? So this is a I mean that that explains it, you know, a person that still up his brother and, and you know sell up sell up him, you know these different acts are not to be done. This is why the law is put into place. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's go to Deuteronomy thirteen. Verse. We can start at verse one. It says, and if there. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer or dreams and give it thee a sign or a wonder and the sign of the wonder come to pass whereof he spake unto thee saying, let us go after other gods which thou hast not known and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams for the Lord your God prove of you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And you shall serve him and cleave unto him. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall, shall be put to death because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, which brought you up out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust thee out of the way which the Lord thy God commanded thee to walk in. So thou shalt put the evil away from the midst of thee. And if thy brother thy son of thy mother or thy son or thy daughter or the wife of thy bosom or thy friend which is as thy own soul entice thee secretly saying let us go and serve other gods which thou hast not known thou nor thy fathers namely of the gods of the people which are round about you nigh unto thee or far off from thee from the from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth thou shalt not consent unto him nor hearken unto him Neither shall thy eye pity him, neither shall thou spare, neither shall thou conceal him. So don't hide it. Don't hide the fact that these, you know, these particular people came to you and said, let's go serve other gods and not serve the Lord our God. Thou shalt what? Stone him with stones that he die, because he have sought to thrust thee away from the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. You see? And all Israel shall hear and fear and shall do no more any such wickedness as this among you. You see, so you were made a public example. You know, if they would say, you know, why, why is this taking place? Which would, would have been known that, you know, he tried to turn him away from, to serve idols, man. You know, so matter if it was your sister, your brother, your friend, you wasn't supposed to hide the fact that they, that they were trying to secretly entice you to go serve these different idols. No, you were to be stoned. Okay. You were to be stoned. All right. Um, you have, a. Uh, of course you have this, right? Um, Leviticus 20, verse 13, it says, what? If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood should be upon them, you know? So this was the judgment for two, you know, men lying together, you know, which just also would put away evil from amongst Israel. You know, that people would fear and see that this is not to be done. OK. Um, let's see. The same thing with bestiality. Right. You know, if someone wants to sleep with the animal as you read below. Right. They were to be what they were to be. They were be, to be put to death and not only them, but also that animal because they have corrupted, you know, the nature of this different uh, creature that the Lord made. All right. So, you know, pretty much, you know, as, as, as I was uh, going on to say, you know, you know, when you hear these different laws being brought out. Right. It, it was to ultimately, you know, uh, put, you know, these were in order, you know, to keep us, you know, 
in the righteous ways of Yah Bashim and they were put in place, you know, if someone to, was to, you know, make an offense to this law, that, you know, we had to handle it in a particular way, okay? Different offenses. Some offenses uh, was, was, was a way where you had to, um, you know, uh, where you had to sacrifice a different, you know, animal, right? And some of them was just ho so harsh where it was like, you know, you didn't even get that opportunity that you were strictly put to death. You was either stoned, you were either burnt with fire, you know, and, you know, in certain other things that you were cast out from among the people, you know, so that you wouldn't even, you know, uh, um, so that you wouldn't even, you know, uh, bring that madness around Israel. You see? So I just wanted to go in, into that, you know, a, a few scriptures dealing with, um, you know, uh, different laws, you know, different offenses that you made according to the law that you dealt with harshly. Okay, and there's, I mean, there's a few more um, we, we can go to, you know, but I just wanted to, you know, touch on a few. I'll get this last one and I can close out. The book of Exodus 22. Verse 18, it says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. You see? And then it goes, And whosoever shall lie with a beast shall be surely put to death, as I was speaking on. So, but so a witch is, you know, these, these different people that's, you know, into uh, witchcraft. You know, these different sorcerers, these just different uh, um, people that's into divination, you know, mediums, things of that sort. You know, y'all were to be put to death. You know, these different people like Cleo, <laughs> you know, that, that wasn't supposed to be done amongst Israel, right? And again, the precept backing that up, Leviticus 20. Leviticus 20, verse 27. It says, what? And then these are laws that, which were, you know, done in ancient Israel, you know? And how they was executed. Um, let's see. Leviticus 20, verse 27. It says, a man also or a woman that have a familiar spirit or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. There shall be blood. Their blood should be upon them, okay? So this is different things that we did, you know, of the different offenses, you know, and I'm just reading a few of them, you know, and, you know, these different things I'm reading, they're not to be done, okay? The scripture says there shouldn't be a sodomite, you know, or, uh, let me see, sodomite. Sodomite. Um, here we go. Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. There should be no whore of the daughter of Israel, nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. You see, so it's letting you be you to be known that, you know, there's not to be no homosexual, right, uh, uh, of the of the young men of the men of our nation, and even the women of our nation. There's there's not to be a whore, man. You see, but in today's society, with the wicked ruling, he allowed these different things to be done. Why? Because he lives lawlessly. He is contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and speaking of who Esau Edom. Okay, so these different laws being put in place, right? It it you know, it fixes everything that you being seeing seeing done today. You know, all these things wouldn't be done if the law was was put into place. Well, you know, you know, ultimately the laws will be put in place in the kingdom of heaven, which will be here on earth, which will will be governed by the Israelites. Okay, the governing body, the hundred and forty four thousand. Okay, which are the men of the Lord. You know, the servants, the prophets. You know. And we are going to execute the ways of Yah Bashim al Shai, you know, uh, uh, righteously and perfectly, right? Because the laws and statutes and commandments will be written in our inward boards, you know? So I just wanted to go over that, you know, real quick, you know, uh, uh, touching on that, of uh, what was going down, you know, in the ancient world. So, you know, Lord willing, I hope that lesson was at a fine show.